Oliver, you write in a note today how quickly the Olympic feel-good factor can wear off and uh, Balfour Beatty, the UK construction company, probably most famous for, in recent history for its role in constructing the aquatic centre in the Olympic Village, has put out a profit warning. Is that entirely unexpected? Not entirely unexpected. The, the construction industry has been under, under pressure for a while. The, the problem is that, that while it's very nice to have the big glitzy projects like the Olympics and the Aquatic Centre, there aren't enough of those big glitzy projects around. Same goes for road building or rail building. The big projects that these big companies like aren't there. So what's happening is that Balfour Beatty is being forced down the food chain, if you like. It's having to build smaller, more modest projects. It's competing against more medium-sized builders. Margins are very thin. There's a lot of price competitions. Margins okay. are very thin. Then. And is it, it's presumably not alone in all of this. No, it's not. So Morgan Sindel, another albeit much smaller construction company, warned on profits this week. The Office of National Statistics says construction output in August was about 11% below August last year. And Hansen, a big building materials uh, company, has announced it's going to be closing some of its capacity in the UK. So across the industry, times are pretty tough and there's a real retrenchment. OK, so with that glum background, presumably one thing one should be doing is looking to find other seams of business to follow. Is, is Balfour Beatty doing that? Is it trying its hand at that? Yeah, it's trying its hand at that. It has been doing for the past 10 years or so with various acquisitions. It's expanded both here and over in the US. Uh, it's moving into services like a lot of construction companies. That ranges from high-end project management services to, to facilities management contracts, but more basic stuff. But the, the idea is to, to smooth itself out over the cycle. This is more reliable business. It also tends to be higher margin business, which is pretty nice. Okay, so it looks to me as though this is a business where one should be perhaps getting used to the idea that it is intensely cyclical and we shouldn't really be um, worrying too much as, as long as they are at least trying to make those, those explore those other avenues of revenue. Yes, well, that, that, that could work out, but at the, the, the moment, the, the other avenues of revenue aren't really providing enough to overcome that cyclicality, and the, today's profit warning shows that it's still a, a deeply cyclical business. It's very nice having the services, but there's still only about a third of turnover, so the, most of the business is still very cyclical. It depends on the economy and building contracts, that kind of thing. And if, if the UK went ahead with its much, much vaunted uh, infrastructure programme, would that... Uh Oh, that would, would that certainly help. Boost? That, that would be great news for Balfour Beatty, which, as I say, likes to build roads, rail schemes, that kind of thing. But what all the contractors are saying is they're not quite seeing the money coming through yet from this big infrastructure plan, spending plan, hence the need to cut their forecasts. Okay, so we need to see a bit of a political will to make that happen, and that could in turn provide a fillip to the construction companies. Thank you very much, Oliver.